All right, so if you've got an Intel RAID array set up on your machine, chances are from time to time, you've had the error message pop up in your Intel RAID BIOS where it says non-membered disks, and seemingly your RAID array has mysteriously vanished. Now, sometimes this is easily recovered. Most of the time, it's not. Normally, if you're running RAID 0, you should have a backup. Well, if you're here looking for this video, chances are you don't have a backup. I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and free way to rescue your data. Yo, check out BadSeatTech.com for all the latest Bad Seat Tech merchandise, cheap PC games, and hand-picked tech deals from around the internet, all while helping to support the channel. Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad Seat Tech and what's really good. So recently I got my hands on an NVMe drive to upgrade my workstation a little bit. Install was a piece of cake. I simply did this. And then the whole world came undone. Story time. Basically, my BIOS decided it was going to take every single one of my drive letters and bump them down a letter. Not only did this leave my system not bootable, but it also broke my RAID 0 array for my SSDs. Most of the time, this thing stays backed up, as I'm sure you know you're supposed to do if you're running RAID 0. It's just at this particular moment in time, I had some data on there that I didn't want to let get away, and it didn't make the daily backup yet. My bad. So I tried all the usual stuff. I went into disk part, I made sure my drive letters were rearranged the right way, I was able to get the system to boot, but Intel RAID BIOS just was not picking up on the RAID array, particularly since I had to do a BIOS update to install the NVMe drive. Now at this point, you have very limited options. Number one, you can just mentally get your head around the idea that your data is gone and move forward with your day. I don't think many of us picked that. Second, you can download some data recovery software that is normally going to run you a pretty penny and may or may not, normally may not, recover the data that you're after. Or third, you can hire a professional and pay through the nose. The choice is yours. Now, I knew I couldn't be the only person using an Intel RAID array that had had this issue before. So naturally, I took my very specific search inquiry to Google, and I wasn't able to turn up a whole lot. But what I did find was a forum post on Overclock.net going all the way back to 2009, where a user recommended a program called Test Disk. This is by CG Security by a developer named Christoph Grenier. Now, normally when you see a link on a forum post this old, you know there's no way in hell this is going to be a valid link. But I took a shot, and what do you know? Now, a couple things you want to do up front to make this process successful and as fast as possible. First things first, you have to make sure that the drives containing your RAID array are plugged into the same ports on the motherboard. That is, they are in the same order as they were when the array broke. Second, you need to reboot your machine and go until your Intel RAID BIOS. Once you're in there, you're going to do something that's going to scare you to death, but you have to create a new RAID array using the same drives. Trust me, this is terrifying, but at this point, you have nothing else to lose, so just do it. Now, once you got all that done, you want to boot into your Windows desktop and load test disk. We're going to create a new log file. Go ahead and select a disk containing the Intel RAID volume. Now, it's going to suggest what type of partition table it thinks you have. Trust it. Go ahead and select Analyze. Am I pronouncing that right? Press Enter to do a quick search. After a few seconds, it should locate the partition. So go ahead and press Enter to engage that partition. Now, mine's already good to go, so you're not going to see it here. The recovery process takes only a few seconds, and afterwards, prompts a reboot. Now, if everything's gone to plan, Windows is going to take a little bit to work on that drive. This usually only takes about a couple minutes. Afterwards, you can boot to your desktop. Go ahead and go to My PC, open your RAID array, and boom, all your data is right back where it should be. This process is a piece of cake and a lifesaver, and I swear I wish I'd have found out about this back in 2009. Now, Test Disk is a really versatile program that can help you out with some master boot record stuff. It can also help you out with any kind of partition stuff and obviously some RAID stuff. What it can't do is recover data if one of your drives has gone bad. So if you've got a RAID 0 array, a RAID whatever array, and one of your drives is starting to fail, this is not going to bring your data back. For that, you will need a full-featured retail expensive data recovery software and a whole lot of faith. But if you just need to get some partition work done, this utility will do this for free. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully you're not still watching this video anymore. Hopefully you got your data back and you've donated to CG Security and you're well on your way to using your computer like you were before you boned it in the first place. That's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button, and until next time, stay up.
God. Light it up. Whoa, <laughs> shit. <laughs>